Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to use a llama index with an open AI model to evaluate the travel recommendation rag that we built in the previous Alama Index tutorial. I'll show you an example in Python. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. If you haven't watched my previous Llama Index tutorial, please do so because this one is an upgrade of that one. It's mandatory because today we will evaluate the travel recommendation rag that we built in the previous tutorial. While we saw that the Streamlit app works great, we don't know if our pipeline generates the right response given the data source in a query. For example, is Trip A to Canada really available for only $2,000? Of course, we can open the JSON file, which serves as our knowledge base and check this, but this is a lot of manual work. There's a better way to do the evaluation. We can do the evaluation using the llama index with an open AI model. Before we start with the code breakdown, install Streamlit and llama index because we need to import them here. First, we need to load the data. As in the previous llama index tutorial, we have the data inside the dummy data JSON file. The file is identical to that in the previous llama index tutorial. Now we need to generate questions from the loaded documents. For this, we are using the RAG dataset generator class, which generates questions. An example of such a question would be, what are the differences in availability between trip A and trip C in terms of the months of May and June? The questions are generated with the GPT 3.5 turbo model. As in the previous tutorial, we set our open AI API key in the streamlit secrets file, like this. Although the RAG dataset generator class generates a lot of questions, we will only take the first three questions for this tutorial. Next, we need to create a vector index from the loaded documents. Then we need to initialize the open AI model. The parameters we set here are identical to those in the previous Alama index tutorial. It's important not to change anything here. Otherwise, we evaluate a different RAG than we built in the previous Alama index tutorial. Before we start with the evaluation part of the code, let's take a look at the official Llama Index documentation. You can see that there are different evaluators. Correctness, faithfulness, guideline, pairwise, relevance, and embedding similarity evaluators. They are used for different purposes. But there's also the batch evil runner class, which enables us to asynchronously run multiple evaluators at once. We will use this one. More precisely, we will use the batch evil runner class to run the following three evaluators, correctness, faithfulness, and relevance. Here, we initialize all three of them. All three evaluators will be using the open AI model we initialized above. The correctness evaluator is useful for measuring if the response is correct against a reference answer. The faithfulness evaluator is useful for measuring if the response is hallucinated. The relevance evaluator is useful for measuring if the query is actually answered by the response. Then we have an async function for evaluation. This is where the magic happens. We initialize the batch eval runner class and pass all three evaluators. A fun little thing is to set the show progress parameter to true for a better user experience. The asynchronous evaluation happens here. We apply all three evaluators to every question in our question list. In our case, we will apply all three evaluators to our three questions. We want to save the result in a variable to be able to process it in the next step. What we do here is take a question, extract its evaluation results, and append data to the list. We repeat this process in a loop until we run out of questions. For every evaluation, we want to extract the following. Response, passing information, feedback, and score. Last, we want to create a pandas data frame for the data list and save it to the Excel file. Let's run this Python example. Wait for the evaluation to finish. As you can see, we got the Excel file as expected. Let's open it and briefly take a look at it. Every question has its own evaluation results for correctness, faithfulness, and relevance. It looks like we built a good travel recommendation rag because all three questions passed all three evaluations. Done. Impressive, right? That's it. 
Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.